All right, we're back on the Iron Giant. We're going to do the Easter egg today. Hopefully, we can get this done first try. Now, we actually have to build all of the bows. So, on solo, you know, you'd imagine that would take a bit longer. But on the right side, at least you can hold multiple bows at the exact same time, which I can really appreciate. So, let's get started with the first one, of course. We'll go open this door by the orb or pick up the orb we're not buying it it's free lay down my quick revive for the extra 100 points now if i remember correctly for the lightning bow you have to like have this facing down is it down or is it up oh god i don't remember i think it's that way as you can see on the wall over here we've got a keeper spot that basically the keeper's going to come over here and we'll have to do souls the easter egg is like very similar to derizon rock which i like that's why it's very much a remake because it's like the explanation is it's basically the other half of the castle the side that Treyarch decided not to turn the map into so it's quite interesting you know seeing what it could have possibly been like on release but yeah this map is just free of course because it's a custom map so a, a link will be in the description if you want to play this for yourself yeah let's go open the next door um i think there's another switch isn't there we have to turn this one i think it's up yeah, like that and then there's one more and it's just past here and yeah it's in there i think we have to turn it the like sideways we don't really need to have to worry about that yet anyway but first dragon we've got to fill up right here we've only got the starting pistol um we could kind of do with getting another gun but you know it's fine uh just knife you don't go down i want to go ahead and get the gks again because honestly like this gun when i used it in the last game had a ridiculously high headshot damage ratio just felt like it was very very good now, i'm not sure where exactly the shield parts are but probably going to be a spawn for one like through here yeah, right there. I think you can see it just about. Right, come on, zombie. Any minute now. Get onto the dragon, dude. Right, that's in range just about. Only annoying thing is we have to, like, wait. But you can actually see from my arm, we actually have the Primus old, like, crew outfits, I guess. Like, the ones that you see at the end of the Revelations cutscene. Which is pretty damn cool, honestly. Oh, God. Just going into all of them. Nice. There we go. Yeah, the efficiency with how many zombies we kill is going to matter a lot because we can get it done on quite an early round. You know, I want to get the bow as soon as possible. All right. First dragon's done. Trouble is, the doors are so bloody expensive that we're going to have to uh, just put some shots in the leg. We have 2,200 points. All right. Well, this one, I think we turn it this way. We can come back to it and fix it anyway. But first shield part. Here we go. Box is right here as well. Landing pad turn on. Efficiency, baby. Uh, so yeah, we want to go... If I remember correctly, I think going right is actually the best way. Because we can get into the center. And I think there's another dragon this way, right? I think, maybe. No, I'm wrong. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, this map is bloody confusing, to be honest. But uh, we're in the center now. Like, just that simple. Easy peasy. Speed cola, 100 points. Oh yeah, there's a dragon here. Okay, I wasn't entirely wrong then. All right, first zombie for the dragon. Boom, done. Pick up the gramophone, we're actually going to need that. It's literally for the very last step, but yeah, I picked it up in the previous video and I was like, I have no idea what the gramophone's for, but yeah, you'll see in time. Oh, there's the next shield part, I was wondering. So many zombies lined up, let's just uh, shoot into them a little bit. Oh, I also know how to get the Ragnarok DG4 now, so we can definitely do that this game. All right, dragon is done. Let's go back on ourselves. Before we actually turn the power on, let's go and get the other door. Where is it? Oh, it's this side. Oh, Wonderfizz is here as well. That's good. Yeah, the other dragon should quite literally just be on this side. Boom, there it is. Okay, easy peasy. All three. I think another shield part can spawn around here. It could be in the next room anyway, so we'll wait a second. Right, first zombie. Oh my god, fucking hell. Just jump scaring me like that. It's fine. Perfectly fine. Didn't die or anything. It's cool. Holy moly, man. <laughs> my voice, like, changed. I got, like, higher pitch because I actually just got jumped. Oof. Yeah, this is, this is why we need a uh, shield. Or just go get quick revive, you know, because all this prep has been for nothing if we do die. All right, looks like the dragon's done. Awesome. Which means we can go and get... Oh, of course the zombie's just blocking my way. We can go and pick up the bow. Uh, I think there's, like, one more door that we have to go through. We're about to... Is it, is it this way? I... Th think it might be. Oh, uh, please tell me that I'm not stupid and wasting my points. I'm wasting my points. Okay, it's fine. Okay, we got the shield part. You know, it was kind of worth it. Even if I'm a bit of a dumbass, but I mean, we've got power right here. How much is the door to power? 1250? Of course. Even after playing this map a couple times, I still get lost, bro. I think, if I remember correctly, it's this door. Yes, okay, thank God. Give me the Wrath of the Ancients. Now, to start the lightning quest, we have to actually turn the power on anyway, don't we? Yeah, because it opens the doors. Oh, well, at least we have the bow, I guess, you know. It still works out. So, yeah, we've got a little lightning symbol here. We're going to get the lightning bow maybe first. The fire wouldn't be bad either because fire is, like, one of the most difficult. Pop, there we go. Should be dog round now, I think. Let's go ahead and build the shield. 
Oh yeah, it is a dog round, okay. Yeah, it looks like the GKS has stopped the one-shot headshotting now, which is kind of tragic, but it's whatever. Let's go up here. Um, oh, we have to open another door to get there, though. A bit annoying. There we go. Now the power's on in three, two, one. Boom, easy peasy. We can go ahead and grab the very first orb, the fire orb, okay. Oh, it takes us all the way back here. Jesus, okay. Well, this is a good time for me to go pick up Quick Revive because we have exactly 500 points as well. I'm not going to have some dumb down and have to do all this again, so safety first. The nice thing is I think you can do multiple bows at the same time. Okay, yeah, we need to open this next door. Oh, we can go here anyway. Uh, Where's, where's the bloody... I don't know where I'm going, dude. Ah, here we go. The bloody lightning place. Get the lightning orb. Easy peasy. Oh, it teleports you back here every single time. Interesting. Now we just need points to open up. I, th oh, I think we need a couple doors to actually get to the uh, the void place. Oh, actually, no. There's a sewer, but we'll be stuck down there if we go anyway, won't we? Uh, maybe. Maybe it teleports us out. But under here, yes, there's this little sewer that we can go in. 500 points. Oh, yeah, we can just go back out the sewer, of course. So, you know, we're not, we're not stuck down here. And here we go. This will be where we pick up the bows when we've upgraded them. Uh, get the void orb. Now we've got all of those. Yeah, and it takes us back here. Easy peasy. Now we can get started with the void steps. Or the wolf steps. My god, brain. But yeah, shoot that. Boom, that's the first one done. Second one, I think, is uh, this one right here. I, oh, I'm stupid. You interact with it. Duh. Can't believe I spent ages shooting it last time. <laughs> it was my first attempt on the map, to be fair. That's the third one. And yeah, for the next one, we do need to open up a door. Let's go and activate this. So we have to shoot the spinny thing at the top right. Uh, yeah. Hello? Yeah, there we go. For some reason, the hitbox just wasn't working. And that should spawn the thing right here. We can pick this up. And I think you can have multiple quests at once. So now we're on the lightning bow. And we just have to shoot three bonfires, but we can do it from the Packer Punch room. So I think it's probably best we open that anyway. Oh, if I remember correctly, you can go from like, uh, oh, where is the staircase now? There's totally a staircase around here that lets you. Oh, there is also up here. Because yeah, double tap is here. And then this is the little orb room. We'll need to go through here eventually anyway. Oh, it's 1250, of course. Oh, this guy's the last zombie anyway. Oh, typical. Whatever, we can open this door now. We place all the orbs in. Boom, boom, boom. And that's done. Now we just need a couple kills in here. So we might as well do this this round. And someone told me in the comments, thank you. Uh, the KVK is apparently like exactly the same as the AN94. So maybe I'll actually get that instead of the STG. We'll see. Uh, oh yeah, we want to kill them closer. They have to be in this little circle. Here we go. Pop, pop. Just, I think it's about like 30 kills. So it's actually going to take a while. But, oh god, almost red screening. That's... Ooh. Relax a little bit. Yeah, once you know what you're doing once, you can just go ahead and play the map and everything is way easier. Just like normal Derizon Drak and I guess Origins a little bit, but Origins is a bit more long-winded. Like, you kind of have to have a guide up to be able to do Origins. DE, you can sort of do from memory, except for maybe like the Void Bow, I think. God, can the zombie spawn any slower? Jesus, bro. Oh, it's done. Hey, let's go. Perfect timing, actually, because there's only a couple zombies left. Place the summoning key here, opens this door. We have a wolf thing we have to come back do eventually but and get started with shooting the uh things so there's one all the way in the distance over here can we get it first try nope next second try maybe yeah there we go pack a punch is unlocked now of course open this landing pad uh the next one is literally right here very easy to hit and the last one is over on this side i think ah oh, is that it in the distance i think it is you and yep, there we go. Now we need to go back down here. Oh yeah, this was the room I was thinking. There's a locker that should be like, it has like a little lightning bow symbol on it. We've also got, of course, the Juggernaut machine here. Oh, we can get started on, we have to shoot this, right? There we go. Enables the uh, the fire part thing. Boom, we can pick up that quest. And yeah, as you see on the bottom right, we have two. Now we can get started with the fire bow as well. Oh my god, crazy. Uh, we'll open this door here. Yeah, this just, uh, it all loops back around. Now, where is this goddamn locker? Oh, I'm getting lost. Oh, it's in this room here, right? Yeah, it's right in this corner. Okay. We just shoot this, pick up this fuse thingy, which I don't exactly know what's for, but uh, we'll open this door. Now we go into the power room, apparently. Oh yeah, and we can open up this door. This is actually a really cool step because it just opens up like a, a new area of the map technically. But look, we put it in here and that will open this door. Oh, we could just go through straight away. We pick up some kind of coil and we need to take this to the pack a punch machine. Ah oh, yeah, here's one of the fire symbols we've got to get started on. We need to be like mid-air jumping pad kind of thing, which is uh, a little bit sketch, but it's fine. So, yeah, we place this in here and this should give us the uh, reforged arrow, I think. Yeah, there we go. Boom, easy peasy. Like that's... <laughs> 
one of the bows done already. Now what we need to do is we need to shoot uh, oh one of the paintings, but it's not available yet, I don't think. There was some kind of a void symbol around here. We have to shoot it. Ah, here it is. Boom. And that should just give us the arrow. Now we can get started on the void one. I've got no idea how to do this one. Oh, there's like a room. Oh, we have to do the urn thingy. But it's when we go into the left side of the castle. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we want to interact with this thing or... Oh, yeah, we've got to shoot it with our bow. There we go. So now we have to figure out the name. The first one is in a table opposite of Electric Cherry. Where's Electric Cherry again? Oh, it's right here. Oh, so it must be this. Perfect. Next one is opposite a barrel on the mystery box location on the bridge. Ah, right here. Boom, that's two. The window to the right of where you pick up the wolf bow orb. Um, so that will be like right here, yeah? Where, where is it? I don't see it. Oh, the window. Uh, yeah, there we go. After crossing the bridge, go right and it will be on a barrel. Okay. Oh, and while we're here. So a little thing with the landing pads, you have to actually open them once you've uh, enabled the, the pads. Okay, go right, follow the path straight and it should take us to, yep, the barrel, easy. Next one is sandbags to the right of double tap. Should be on this wall, yeah, somewhere. Sandbags to the, ah, here we go. And the last one is table to the right of the death ray. Should be in this room, yeah, ah, there we go, easy peasy, that's all six. Now for this next one, we have to shoot the urn, like the symbols. I've got a cheat sheet, I'll put it on screen if you're curious exactly what it is, but we need to shoot them in this order. Where is the room again? Oh, it's around this corner, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, now we shoot the symbols in the name. Ah, right, these ones, okay. Stag door horn. I always recognize that one. Like, I swear that's what I get on DE as well. Stag door horn. The stag is like the two clippy ones, this one. Uh, stag door is the three, three looking ones. Wait, am I dumb? Am I doing this wrong? Oh, I'm not supposed to shoot them, am I? Stag door. And then horn is right here. You have to actually interact with the goddamn skulls. That is my name. Hey, easy peasy. I, I don't know how I overcomplicated that so much. It's because they give you the symbols around here and it's like, oh, but they're always the same every single game. So there we go. Second arrow done. And we have enough to actually open up that wolf bow room. So let's go do that. Uh, where the goddamn hell is the staircase? It's around here, isn't it? Oh, just, just go this way. Oh, it's down here anyway. I'm stupid. Okay, so the next uh where is it thing we have to interact with is it up here i think it's up here come here painting where are you uh it's in this room oh i'm so goddamn blind i love it oh i went straight past it here it is my god dude now i have to head down to this premise statue room oh to get there, though, I have to, uh, what's it called? I need 500 points to use the stupid sewer. Well, that's kind of tragic. It's fine, though. We can just, uh, we'll go do it now. Yeah, the void bow, like, the, to actually get the upgraded bows is not as difficult as I originally thought, you know? Like, it's really not hard at all. It's, um, they sort of, like, split the upgrade steps in half, so you do the rest of them when you infuse the orbs, which I'll show you how to do once we've actually upgraded the stuff, but we need to, uh, start them first. Uh, we can interact with some of these, right? I think. Yeah, there we go. Lightning, boom, just get a free max ammo just put the void one in another max ammo what did i even come here to do ah yes the wolf arrow it's, it's right here okay nice wait can the dogs not get to me am i stuck oh if i gotta go back through the portal i think i do because yeah they're just not they're not coming for me uh doggies Oh yeah, both of them just exploded, I just heard it. Now, Panzer is actually going to spawn next round, I think. So, you know, we kind of need to get Jug soon, and we haven't. So, it's not ideal. But it's fine, we're like 50% of the way through. So stand around here, just in case we get a Panzer, because I can go in that landing pad immediately. It could be round 12, though, which it looks like it is. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Alright, let's actually use this landing pad, see if we can get the... Uh, Fire symbol, boom, there. Get a couple kills in here real quick. We have to do this three times. Just like in DE, it's the most difficult one apparently because like it can be a bit finicky to get some of these done. Boom, okay, get a couple kills. Oh, they're crawlers, tragic. I think it's just six kills, which is nice. Should be done like right now. Unless, no, apparently not. Maybe it's 10. Oh yeah, there we go. See if we can get the next one, it should be like right down here. Boom, easy. Right, a couple kills here. Easy peasy peasy. It should, oh, it ends the round, damn it. Let's actually go pick up Jug then real quick. Yeah, here it is. Oh, thank God. I remembered. It's fine. We're good. Okay, just a couple more kills. Then we've got one more to go, and I think we can do it from the same landing pad. I don't think there's a restriction on how you do it. Uh, hopefully, anyway. All right, there we go. That one's done. Oh, hello, fucking so many zombies. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. Please tell me we can do it with this one. I'm gonna do it, like, right as you get there. I missed it. Well, <laughs> nice job, me. Yeah, this is the finicky one that I was talking about before. I don't think it's that difficult, but oh, we've got, we got to get another thousand points again. 
We can actually afford the landing pad. I'll try and get it next try. Oh, a double points. Well, you know, that kind of helps. Fucking getting stuck. Well, we got 5,000 points now. Jesus. Okay, we're just rich. Let's immediately head back. Come on. I can, I can do this. I can do this. This try. I've got to do it like right as there. There we go. We did it. Now, we did kill quite a few zombies, so I don't know if we'll be able to get it this round, but we can pack a punch. I mean... Is there a point in packer punching? It would literally just be for the Panzer men. We could about to get like two bows, but maybe we do it because just in case. Could be a smart play, I suppose. I think they're stuck on the staircase. Come on, zombies, take your time. Slowly but surely. Okay, you the last one? Oh, it is. Oh, I was expecting it to be sprinting, but okay. Well, we don't have enough packer punch then. Panzer is literally right about to spawn. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's actually open this door. Uh, it just gives us a bit more breathing room, I think. Panzer, if it spawns, it will spawn right here. I'm pretty sure. Come on. Let's try the regular bow against him. Come on, Panzer. Right, here we go. Pew, 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 pew. Get out of here, bro. Get the fuck out. All right, he's dead. Easy. All that stress for nothing. Yeah, maybe we just buy perks instead of Pack-a-Punch now then. I mean, I was only scared of the Panzer, but you know, that was kind of piss. And yeah, the lightning bow is very, very good against the Panzer in this. Like, they're just so much weaker, but they spawn more often, so they are still deadly. All right, I think it's done. Yep, there we go. Now we go back to the churchy area and we shoot the fireplace. So it's just like right by speed coder, I think. Oh, trying to jump over them. Okay. I'm going to open this door, man. It's just, it just makes it a little bit easier. So yeah, we just go in here, shoot, and then we get a max ammo and we get this done. Where's my arrow? You're going to, you're going to give me? Oh, I've got to interact with it first. Oh, sorry. My bad. Wait, hello? It didn't give me the arrow. What the fuck? Don't tell me it glitched. Please? I'm I'm not seeing it. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, no. Is that the death rate? Okay. Oh, I was so worried. I thought it was, like, completely bugged. But nope. I've just got to go back there. Okay. Oh, it's the big red orb thing. Right, yeah. We're going to shoot it or interact with it. Hey, and it explodes just like in uh, DE. And boom. Okay, now we just need the wolf. We actually have to go back to spawn. So, you know, good timing. We can just go there right now. There's a flag on the far left. This video is going to be good because it can work as a tutorial, you know, to actually like teach you how to do it. You shoot that flag, the skull is just rolling down, waiting for it to uh, get here. Boom, easy peasy. Got to take it back to the premise statue room uh, and then we go and interact with something. Interact with it to place the skull on the body by the altar, which was born in a shovel. Okay, so we go down to the wolf thing, I think. That's some stupid. Yep, there we go. Pick up the shovel. We have to go all the way back to spawn, so we might as well go through this way again. I should have bought stamina up, actually, you know, with all this running around. We did get the grave, I think. Yep, here it is. And that gives us the arrow. That was it. it. Wow, the wolf bow is so easy, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. And now we have all four of them done, so we can just go and, like, start filling them up, I guess. Yeah, we interact with this one, boom, and this one. Now, I think the way it works is... The closest one we are to will fill up first, so if we'll just start from, like, the Void Bow. Start on the left, I guess. Not like it necessarily matters. I really like this because it reminds me of the staff upgrading for the Ultimate Staffs. Like, it's the exact same concept, you know, you take them all into the, uh, Agarthan area and you fill them all up. We're definitely gonna get Mule Kick because, of course, we can hold three bows, so that's gonna be really good. There's the final step, you need all four bows. That's literally the only step that you need them all for. Because they actually got rid of, if you remember in Dreisendrach, the Keeper step, you have to use, like, a specific bow for each one when it goes to, if you build all four. I think on Solo, you can just use the one anyway, but this completely negates it, but it still makes it so that you have to build all four. And they're not difficult, they're fun, you know? So I can appreciate it. Oh, we get dogs. I actually have to open this door because I'm pretty sure they can't spawn in it. Oh, no, I was wrong. Okay, fair enough. I thought this was their bug last time. Now, I'm 99% sure dogs do not count for this, but let's see. Yeah, no, there's no souls. Oh, yeah, that's another reason why getting the KN's pretty good because this, there is literally a wall by in the boss fight room. But, I mean, when you have a lightning bow and a wolf bow and a void bow and a fire bow, do you really need anything else? Maybe a ray gun mark too, you know? So yeah, once we've done this, we just work on infusing the orbs, which shouldn't be too difficult. It's kind of like upgrading the staffs again, but it's not that difficult. It probably takes less time. We just need the upgraded bows to actually, uh, oh, that's what we need it for as well. We've got double heads to kill. Cool. We need it for um, shooting the orbs themselves. I don't know what bow you can use. I think you can use any bow, but unless I'm wrong, I think you need to use the specific bow for each orb. God, this is taking a while. <laughs> We're still here on round 14. Okay, that looks like that one's done. Yeah, there we go. Void is finished. Oh, no, fire was finished first. Wow, interesting. I was kind of expecting it to uh, to be void. Now the void's done. Okay, so now we have two bows. Uh, let's pick up the fire first. Oh, just look at this thing. It's so... 
I love the fire bow, man. It looks awesome. Pick up the void as well, because we might as well. But yeah, look, two bows. Void is aesthetically fucking gorgeous, not gonna lie. And I don't think you can hold multiple of the same bow, but it gives you a prompt to, like, pick them up, which is kind of interesting. Oh, Panzer. Uh, let's see how the void does against him. Who shot? <laughs> like, who shot, bro? Oh, there's another one. Okay, fine. Spawn another, bro. I don't care. Again, two shot. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to use the Void Bomber because it kind of goes crazy, you know, the, the skulls fly around everywhere. I need to kill them near the uh, the things. Just out of curiosity, can I have two? No, you can't have two of the same bow. Okay, never mind. But another player can have the same bow as you. So if one player has the lightning bow, the other person can have a lightning bow as well, which is going to make high rounding so broken on this game. There we go. Lightning is finished. Now, come on. Wolf has got to be real close. Oh, I got a nuke, damn it. Pick up the lightning for now because this is like just the safety net. We're like fucking bow. It's the best one. Hey, there we go. It's actually finished. Let's go. Okay, we can kill a few. All right, give me the void. I mean, the wolf. God, I'm mixing all my bows up. Now we have the wolf and the lightning. We'll open this door. It makes it more convenient. We've got 15k points. Holy shit. So yeah, now we can get started with infusing the goddamn orbs. We have to go back to the room. Oh yeah, we want mule kick, don't we? Let's actually go and hit the Wonder Fizz then. Now we just stand here. We can fire down the lightning bow just in case. What are you going to give me first? Meal kick immediately. Beautiful. The one time whether I actually like this perk, you know. We've got double tap. Oh, hell yes. I don't know if it affects the bow damage, to be honest, but can't say no to double tap. So electric cherry. The bows don't exactly have a reload. It's kind of not very useful, but it's fine. Widow's wine. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, my God. And I think we're down to one zombie. That's just perfect, isn't it? Probably going to get the teddy bear thing. Yeah, I, I had a feeling we were going to. I'll go pick up stamina. up. Oh, not me getting lost again. Oh, fucking. Oh, Wonder Fizz is up here. Okay, nice. Well, we might as well keep buying perks then. I'm pretty sure it's going to give us like dead shot. But yeah, that's like what the last perk. Oh, it's going to kill them both. You're serious. I wanted to keep one. Oh, no. Okay, round didn't end. We've got all the perks now. Nice. Let's just, I'm going to get rid of my widow's grenades. Finally. Okay, so now we shoot this. That's that one done. That one done. Oh, God. Keep the zombie away from that. Can we shoot these, though, with this? No, we need the actual bow. Okay. So we interact with the little head, and then we get the uh, the wolf that spawns in. And now we follow you. We'll finish the wolf bow now, and then I'll go and pick up the other two bows. I think that's more efficient. So yeah, he's going to go for a walk, and then we go and interact with a grave, or interact with, like, a deep site, and then we pick up an arrow, or what was it? I don't know. Some kind of, like, thing. Come on, boy. Wait for him to dig, 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 any year now. Come on, bro. There we go. Ah, it's like a bone. Okay, cool. That step is done. Now we go back to spawn. And I think, if I remember correctly, we have to... It's like, we... Yeah, we light up these. We actually need a grenade. Oh, I got rid of my widow's grenades, man. Need some kind of grenade or gun to shoot them with. But it's fine. We can light them up now. It's cool. Boom. That one done as well. And this one. And we should also be able to pick up this... Oh, no. Am I wrong? Oh, I'm forgetting something. Oh, I did the steps kind of out of order. Okay, well... It's fine, man. Can we do it with a different bow? Does that count? No, it doesn't look like it. Fuck, I guess I'll go on to the next round then, I guess. Oh, I can just buy- I have mule kick, right? I can just buy another gun. I'm such a clown sometimes, man. I just- I have a brain. There we go. That's one. Shoot you. That's another. And then this one in the distance. Pop, 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 pop. Yep, that's all three, and then we should be able to go and pick up this orb essence. Also, I gotta appreciate it actually- yeah, here we go. Orb essence, right here. But it actually shows you which one is your meal kick weapon. Look, it lights up in the corner. Like, thank you for doing that. Well, now that orb is done, we can go ahead and infuse. Boom, easy peasy. I actually did that in my last video. I figured that out myself as well, which I was proud of. But uh, now, let's get started with the lightning one, I think. Um, oh, God. Hello, fucking every zombie in existence. Jesus. Just, just me wanting to get past. Okay, fucking... God, bro. I just want to uh, to shoot. You have to shoot all of the things again, and it makes them lightning-y. Another one in the distance over here. Can I get it from here? Yep, I got it. Oh, let's go. And the last one, I'll go back down here. Oh, jump over the zombies. Somehow managed to do that. Where is it? Oh, it's that one over there. Oh, okay. So never mind. I actually do have to go back up here. Oh, fucking move out the way, bro. Okay, shoot you in the distance. Oh my god, I got it. I got all three, like, first try. That was kind of intense. Oh, now we have to do the switches. I don't think I did them properly, or maybe we have to interact with one of them to, like, redo them or something. Let's see, but we've only got a couple zombies left, at least. So this one here is supposed to be... Oh, it's facing up. Okay, my bad. That one. The one under's facing left. The other one upstairs is supposed to be facing down. Okay. 
There we go. I, s I was only slightly wrong then. Okay, fair enough. Now we can go and go through here, pick up the other two bows. Okay, here we go. Sorry, wolf, but we're not going to need you at the moment. Uh, let's pick up fire and then we'll get the void. Easy peasy. Look, three bows in the Ryzen Drac 2.0. It's <laughs> so insane, Bran. Go ahead and infuse this next orb. Boom, easy pe- Oh, am I missing something? Oh, I'm supposed- Oh, I'm gonna pick up the essence from where you originally picked it up. So, we just go into the robot head. Oh my god. Thank you, zombie, for giving me a heart attack. I appreciate it. Just what I needed, you know? Just just what I was asking for. But here we go. Orb essence. Now we're done. Oh, and I didn't even bloody shoot the fucking thing, so I have to go back there again? I'm so inefficient. It's crazy. People were, like, complaining at me in my Origins video in the comments saying, like, oh my god, why are you doing everything the most difficult way? That's just how I roll, bro. I just, I naturally do things the stupidest way possible. Hello? There we go. I was gonna say. Weird it didn't activate. We can get the Ragnaroks right now. The Void Bow just killed them. Okay. Okay, so we need to do this two, one, three. So do this one, two. That turns it to D. One, that turns that to a G. And then one, two, three. And this should open up the door nice and easy. And we can go through. And all the DG4 parts will just be here for us. Like they're just literally all laying around, which is pretty nice. And there's the third one. So yeah, now we can go and build that. Where is the other buildable bench? Oh, it's in the tank station thing, right? Well, let's get started with the void orb. Okay, after creating the void bow, go to the orb room and shoot the void orb. Done that. There will be three purple glowing statues near spawn. It's always near spawn, bro. Near spawn. Near can get me running around everywhere, man. All right, so I think... Uh, remember my... The words? If I remember correctly, yeah. This is the first one we've got to do. They use like the wind staff things, which is kind of interesting. I like that. And then there's one literally where we spawn. So I'm assuming it's all the way back here. Oh, hi, Panzer. Where'd you come from? Take a void bow to the face, bitch. <laughs> Two shot. Oh, another one. Fine, man. If you want to get some as well. Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I was just kidding, man. I was just kidding. Oh, another one. Three. Go for it, man. <laughs> oh, that's so broken. I fucking love the void bow, though, man. Like, look. It opens a portal from another dimension and sends out skulls to kill all of the zombies. Like, come on. You can't get much cooler than that. So, am I blind? Is, is it around here somewhere? Oh, it's down there. I'm, I'm actually blind. I don't know why I ran all the way up here, but it's fine. We got that one. Okay, now we have to shoot some glowing orbs. This is kind of like the wisp step from Derizon Drak, if you remember that one. Looks like you have to shoot them in a specific order. The first one is the clock above the church dragon head running into a wall. Nice. Good job, me. I wasn't looking at the screen. Uh, here is the first one. Okay, done. Next one is the telephone in the power room. Oh, so it's the exact same uh, locations as the wisp step, which is quite nice. Cool little throwback. Yep, here's the next one. Pew. And the next one is by the radio in the church room. So back in this middle area, I assume. Yep, right here. And that's all three done. Now we just need to head back to the portal and then we can infuse the next orb. But we'll get started with the fire one now. We have to shoot a plane in the sky. Whoa. Oh, it's like the fire plane from uh, Origins. Okay. I mean, I can get down with that. Oh, I actually see it. Can we shoot it with the bow? That'd be cool. But I don't think so. It'd be like impossible to shoot it with the bow. <laughs> Whatever. Let's infuse the vo Oh, we can't do that yet. Right. Okay. I forgot. We have to swap out the lightning bow then, I guess. Is there a gun wall by nearby here? Yep. There we go. Come on. Let's shoot this fucking thing. Pew, 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 pew. Done. Right. Where's it dropping? Uh, that was somewhere. Oh, it, turned it lit the uh, cauldron or something, apparently. Okay. And then we have to shoot these in 935 order. So there's three... Where is, okay, nine, where is three? I mean, five even. Is it this one? Three, and then is five just this? Oh no, that's five. I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank God I didn't mess it up. Easy peasy. And now we just have to go pick up the other one. So we might as well just go back through here. We could pick up this void. Uh, let's actually pick up another bow real quickly. Give me the lightning. Uh, we don't need to be holding the void. So I guess we'll... Yeah, honestly, I'm not feeling the fire right now. Let's pick up the fucking wolf. Here we go. Orb essence number three. And then the last one is... Where the hell is the fire? Oh, it's in the power room, right? Yeah, I completely forgot for a second. And I'm on the wrong side. Good job. Okay, and that is all of the orb essence. Now we can start the actual Easter egg, I think. I mean, it's kind of like Origins where the Easter egg is mostly the upgrading of the main wonder weapons anyway. But yeah, here we go. We just go and interact with these last two. It should merge and I think we have to destroy something. Okay, here we go. Infuse orb. Infuse orb. Infuse orb. And now they're going to 
lift up and go in the middle, apparently. Oh yeah, we could build the DG4s as well, I totally forgot. Yeah, there we go. And, oh, we had one zombie, I, could, I should have kept that, but... Press and hold F to fracture it. Oh, it's fractured. Okay, now we have to shoot this. We just follow it around. It's kind of like the moon step, which I like. So don't get lost. It's fairly easy to see it, at least. Shoot it up there. Where'd it go? Uh, oh, we went underground, I think. Bloody hell. Come back! Alright, there we go. Up there. Down here. <laughs> Playing Simon Says with a ball. Simon Says? That's not the right game. Oh, just ignore me. I, my brain is fried right now. We literally take it all the way around the map, which is cool. It's a nice way to see everything, you know? Where did it go? Up there. And through here. Okay, it's about to go to its last location. Okay, we shoot it here. And then it flies up and destroys this little, like, tower thing, which is cool. Oh, we have to actually shoot it. I think, maybe. Shoot it from there. Oh, God. Go away, zombies. I don't think I can shoot it from here, can I? Uh, maybe... Oh, we pick up the flat gun. Am I stupid? I'm so I fire the flat gun and that destroys it. An orb's not going to do that, bro. My brain sometimes is just not with it. Yeah, now we need to shoot that little orb. So we're kind of going to have to... Uh, I guess we'll swap out the void. STG, uh, you can just about see it in there. Fucking hell, it's so difficult to do. Come on, any year now it will fucking do it. Is that bullet drop? Is that what I'm missing? I swear to God, man, I'm hitting it. But there we go. Oh, I had to aim a little bit lower. And now it should go all the way back. Apparently to the orb room. We have to destroy it now, I think. Right back into here. Yep, here it is. And... Kaboom! Bye-bye, and we get the Vril device. Now, of course, if you remember when we were in the, like, upgraded bow room, there was a little slot for it in this coffin, and we have to go interact with that. And that will start the Keeper step, which is going to spawn infinite dogs. So, I mean, we want to kind of, uh... Let's go build that DG4. All right, here we go. DG4 is now built. Easy peasy. Okay, and then we're going to swap out... Uh, what one do we want? Uh, I guess we'll get... We'll get the Void, yeah. Uh, and then... Okay, easy peasy. Interact with you. Hi, Keeper. How's it going, bro? Yeah, now we just follow it around, and we can use whatever bow we want to fill him up, but patiently gotta wait first. Oh, move out the way, bro. Oh, max ammo. That's actually really good, because my, uh, my wolf one, I think it was, was running out. So I think there's four around the map. On the fourth one, he turns into a real Keeper, which is quite neat. Which one's he going to first? This one? Oh, no, there's not one here. Oh, is it upstairs? No, it's through here? Okay, where are you going, man? Oh, it's, like, right here. Okay, so tucked away in this little corner. All right, fair enough. And now we just stand here and we get zombie kills. Of course, we've got to patiently wait for them to bloody spawn because apparently they're, uh... They get stuck in this barrier sometimes, I think. Unless it's a dog round. Is it just a dog round? There literally isn't a single zombie. What? Oh, there's one. What the fuck? Oh, the round ended. Okay. <laughs> what was all that about, bro? Oh, we've got Panzer spawning. Okay, good time for me to shoot this thing down then. We don't want to deal with these bastards. Oh, a max ammo. Okay, huge. Should be one more. Yep. It's you. Go away, go away. All right, phew. Now we, can we actually stand closer to this and fill it up? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, even these kills aren't counting. Oh, we have to just single fire, I guess, because the lightning bow is just, uh... It's too powerful, man. But right, here we go. You can barely see what's going on. Oh my god, my screen is just fully blue. I cannot see anything. Okay, there we go. He's done. I'm just going to skip most of that because I literally couldn't see a single thing I was doing. Uh, move out the way, man. I think I'll use the wolf bow for this one. Okay, remember when I showed you guys the little symbol over here? There we go. This is the second one. Oh, and we got dog round. Ruined. Ruined. Can't even fill up the souls with this. I don't think it counts, does it? Nope. The infinite dogs is actually quite annoying, to be honest, but it's fine, man. It's fine. I'm just sit back in here. It's so cool that you spawn in the Origins Church. I know I mentioned it in my last video, but... Just, you know, the blending of the two maps is really, really good. All right, here we go. Fill up with souls. Let's do some couple of charged shots, I think. We're going to need the DG4 charged, so um, we're not going to use that right now. All right, pew pew. Trying to kill them as close as possible. Oh, there we go. He's finished. Hey, easy peasy. Getting so many points right now. Okay, we've got two more left. If I remember correctly, I think it's like right here. Oh god, I hear a panzer spawning. Okay, we'll actually use the goddamn lightning bow for a second then. Oh yeah, I see him. Go away, bro. Go away. Stop with the goddamn bullshit. I'm not going down right now. You just don't even try it. All right, insta-kill. That makes it easier. Just throw a couple single shots over here. There we go. He's done already. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that one would have been quick. And the very last one, I, I don't think we have to fully follow him. Oh god. 
Move out of the way, man. Upstairs next to the power room, this was actually one of them in Dorizendrock, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's right here. And this should be the very last one. I hate the dogs for just spawning and fucking steal your widow's wine instantly. Oh, it's just amazing. Fine, I didn't want them in the first place. It's fine. As soon as we're done with this one, we can actually do the boss fight and, like, go towards the end game. The, uh, the Easter egg, yeah, it's a lot like Origins, where there's not too much to it. There's a few less steps than even in Derizen Drock, so might want to get a refresh of our shield before we go in. Unless we get a carpenter, because it does actually refresh our, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Oh, yeah, he's finished already. Real Keeper, let's go. All right, let's go, Keeper. Where are you headed? Okay, he's coming all the way down here. Come on, boy. Yep, here we go. And now we go into the boss fight. I'm just gonna, you know, screw it. We'll just go straight into it. I, I'm, I have faith, man. Okay, so I think what we need to do is we just have to survive for a little bit, wait for our Ragnarok to uh, recharge, and then we can shoot these guys with the specific bow. So this one's the lightning, I think. Or something. Oh god, we're getting panzers. Uh, let's pick up the DG4, of course. Let's not go down. Just after the lightning bow is just like soloing him right now. It's fine. Oh, and a max. Huge. Oh god, hi. Hello. So yeah, now we just need to charge our DG4s back. Oh, isn't there a buildable bench in here? I think there is. That would actually have been... Yeah, it's right here. I should have put the shield here. I remember, uh, I think Glitching Queen put that in our guide. My bad. I should have <laughs> should have followed a bit better, but it's cool. Hopefully we get a carpenter so we don't lose our shield, you know. That would be nice. Hi, Panzer. This is like a very chill boss. It's not too bad. Just throw down some void thingies. I like how you can have uh, multiple of them as well. Get a bunch of skulls on the map. I hear a Panzer. Oh, hello. <laughs> They're so, they just get destroyed. It's hilarious. Come on. Almost got my DG4s done. So yeah, this boss fight is reminiscent of the uh, Shadow Man boss fight, I guess is the best one to compare it to. Oh yeah, there's a max ammo spawning. Oh, that would be lovely if I could uh, just charge my thing in time any year now. Come on, it's so close. Oh, the stupid stun grenades, bro. Pick up the max because we might as well. We're literally so close to being able to do it. We're going to get ready to... Uh, I don't know how we do this on solo because we have to... Uh, there we go. All right, place this down. We have to shoot you, um, and then we shoot you, and then we shoot you, and then we have to pick up the fire one, and I think we shoot you. Okay, that's all of them. Hi, Panzer. Hi, Panzer. How's it going? So, yeah, we have to, uh, shoot the keeper now, I think. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't properly do it. Fuck. I thought I did, man. Oh, there we go. Now we shoot him. Or something. I don't know. Press the button, maybe. Uh, oh, God. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm red screen somehow. Oh, we have to pick up the DG4s again. We have to charge it this time. Oh, I think we did the first stage. Okay, okay, this is good. Now we just have to charge them back up again. Oh, there goes my shield. Whew. Okay, I was getting stressed for no reason. We're fine, we're fine. We did the step where we shot all the things. Now we just need DG4s. Fuck. God. I'm gonna end up throwing, man. Oh, hi, Panzer. Go away. I'm just not... I'm not about to get one shot by you and ruin this boss fight. Oh god, hi, Panzer, just spawning on my face like that. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, this thing will just be ready for whenever we're ready. Actually, I love a strat. I think the strat is going to be, we buy the KN, right? And then we use this to shoot him when he's out of his, like, broken thing. We shoot down a storm bow, and then we just fire, and then we get ready to press the button. Because we have to press the button as soon as he's, like, in the center. Oh god, hi, Panzer Soldat, where the fuck are you? Oh, right there, that's where you are. Jesus, man. Oh, a double points. Brilliant. Well, I mean, I've already got, like, 70,000 points, so come on. Any second now, the DG4s will be charged. Literally so close. Oh, here it is. Go away, bro. There we go. We've got it charged. Okay. And we've got a max ammo. This is our time to char- to chime? To shine is the one I was looking for. Okay. Place you down. Right. Now he's open. We just got to shoot him. Shoot. Pew, pew. Oh, shit. We've got to- Gotta, I'm just gonna keep spamming. Hey, we did it! Let's go, bro. I fucking did it somehow. Oh my god, that is so stressful on solo. Oh, we got a panzer spawning. Go away, man. I just beat the goddamn boss. <sighs> Actually working up a sweat doing that. Yeah, give me the nuke. Can I just celebrate now? That would be nice. If I could just celebrate. Here we go. The, uh, the Vril device. We pick it up. 
And then this little thing opens up. So this is what we needed the gramophone for, if you were curious. Boom, this opens. And it's like the Origins crazy place. And we place the gramophone here. We've got the Zweihander on the wall, which is like an MG-08, I think. Like a futuristic BO4 version. Very nice. 3,000 points. And yeah, here we go. The portal opens. Escape for 75,000. Wait, no kidding. Oh, and we got some extra perks, which is cool. Wait, we have exactly enough now. What the... <laughs> that was like... Perfect timing. Okay, well, we escaped. Hell yeah, thanks for playing. So a link to this map will be in the description of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. It was definitely worth the, uh, what, like, let me see how long I've been recording for. An hour and a half, so not too bad, honestly. If you've enjoyed, check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it, and I'll see you in the next video.